So now we look at question number seven. This one, seven equation. Again, you can see that here we have the uh, operation of subtraction. We cannot use log. Again, okay, this one, you cannot use log. What I mean is, you cannot do it this way, log exponent x minus log 8 exponent negative x and equals to log 2. This is wrong. So, sekali lagi saya akan ingat, sekiranya terdapat operasi tambah ataupun tolak, kita tak boleh guna log macam ni. Setiap satu sebutan ni letak log. So, this is wrong. So, please remember this one. So, for this one, you we have to use the method of let. So, how are we going to do before this? So, what you have to remember is, if A, power of negative M, jika A ni kuasa negative N, negative ni akan jadi 1 over A power of N. So, kuasa negative ni akan menyebabkan dia jadi 1 per A kuasa Let's say again, I use another color. A power of negative. Let's say negative ni saya guna warna merah. Kuasa negative N. Sama dengan kuasa negative ni yang merah ni seolah-olah menyebabkan dia akan jadi satu per. And then A kuasa N. N kali ni tak ada negative lah. Maksudnya negative ni akan jadi satu per. So, based on this one, for our equation, exponent x minus 8 exponent negative x is equal to 2. So, exponent x minus 8. So, this one is exponent negative x. You can see that negative here. So, let's say, I do it in red color. Saya tukar jadi warna merah, negative ni. So, maksudnya, jika negatif ni, apa akan jadi? It will become 1 over. And then, exponent power of x is equals to 2. Or this one, I can write in the form of exponent x minus 8 over exponent x is equals to 2. Then, we use let. Let's say let exponent x is equals to m. So, from M, from this one, what I get here is M minus 8 over M is equals to 2. Then, multiply to the left and right. So, what we have here is M squared minus 8 is equals to 2M. Again, this is quadratic equation. So, one side must be equals to 0. Means that m squared minus 2m minus 8 is equals to 0. What I do here is I move 2m to the left hand side. Then we factorize. So here m, oh, sorry, this one. Factorize here we have m minus 4. Here we have m plus 2, which is equals to 0. So here is m minus 4 is equals to 0. m is equals to 4. And another value, m plus 2 is equals to 0. m is equals to negative 2. So remember, we are not trying to find the value of m. We want to find the value of x. Ingat, kita bukan nak cari nilai m eh. Jangan berhenti kat sini. Kita nak cari nilai x. So, m ni, this m is equals to exponent x. m ni sama dengan exponent x. Therefore, exponent x is equals to 4 or exponent x is equals to negative 2. For this one, exponent x will never get the a negative value. Untuk kat sini, eh, exponent x ni tak mungkin akan dapat nilai negatif. Apa-apa kuasa ni, exponent ni positif. Kuasa x ni tak mungkin akan dapat nilai negatif. So, this one we can put no solution. So, 
So for this one, now we concentrate on this part. This part, if you want to find the value of x, the fastest way is we use log. In your calculator, you have the symbol of log. Dalam UPI calculator ni ada log ni. Apa maksud log kat sini? Log ni maksudnya adalah log is equals to log with base exponent. Log ni maksudnya log asas exponent. So if log is log, uh, log asas exponent, so if we use log from this one, exponent x is equals to log 4. Log ni ada dalam UPI calculator. Di sebelah kanan log. You boleh tengok UPI calculator. Di sebelah kanan log. Button LN tu. Log. This is log. So then x, we can multiply to the front. What I have here is x ln exponent is equals to ln 4. And ln exponent is equals to 1. So it's equals to ln 4. So x is equals to ln 4. Ln 4, the value is 1.386. Some of you may ask, why ln exponent is equals to 1? Kenapa ln exponent ni sama dengan 1? Tadi saya sebut ln ni log asas exponent. Ln exponent means that it's equals to log exponent with base exponent. Jika asas dia dengan nilai dia sama, dia akan jadi 1. Contohnya, log 10 base 10. This is equals to 1. Log 5 base 10. 5. This is equals to 1. Log, let's say square root of 2. Base square root of 2. This is equals to 1. So, apa yang sama, asas dengan nilai dia sama, automatically it will become 1. That's why log exponent, which is equal to log with the base exponent, E is equals to 1. Dia sama ni, dia akan jadi 1. For example, if you use log, you can use log. Kamu jika katakanlah, you guna logs for example. This one, you guna log. You tak tahu nak guna log. Let's say, if I use log, we we will get the same answer. For example, I do it here. Eh? Let's say, I put it in the blue color. Exponent x is equals to 4. Let's say, you use log. Log exponent x is equals to log 4. The same thing, you bring x to the front. So we have x log exponent is equals to log 4. So this one is not equals to 1. Eh? This is log. So x is equals to log 4 divided by log exponent. So you can use your calculator. x is equals to log 4. Divide by log exponent. Still 1.386. The same answer. Cuma ada yang kamu di antara kamu tak tahu nak tekan log exponent. Macam mana kita nak tekan log exponent ni? So I will show you how we're going to uh, using your calculator. How we can show log exponent. So for log exponent, first you uh, you press log the lock button. Tekan button lock ni. And then in order to get the exponent, you can refer to the log. You Untuk dapat exponent ni, you boleh tengok kat log. Dia ada dua, yang kuning, log e, uh, ex ni, log power, uh, exponent power of x, dengan e yang merah. So, kita akan guna e yang merah. So, means that next is you put alpha. You press the button of alpha. Sebab kita nak merah. Jika nak kuning, kita kena shift. Guna alpha. Tekan lock. Sekali lagi, tekan lock. Tekan alpha. And then, finally, tekan lock. In your calculator, dalam calculator kamu, dia akan tunjuk lock. Itu macam italic tu. Dia macam ni. Ha, inilah lock exponent. So, this is how you... Uh, this is how you put, uh, apa? 
you guna tunjukkan log exponent ni. Macam mana kita nak tekan correlator untuk dapat log exponent. So, log 4 against divide by first log alpha log. So, you get 1.386. The same answer as this one. You boleh guna log. Sama saja jawapan dia. So, this one kecil kan. So, this is the answer for question number 7.